Brian's parents got in a divorce, and Brian is taking a plane to his dad's house for the summer. But then the plane driver dies, and it's up to Brian to control the plane. But the consequence was that is that he crashed it into a lake. But two days after the plane crash, Brian gets up, makes a shelter, and finds berries. In the middle, in the middle of the night, Brian gets stabbed by a porcupine and throws his hatchet, which makes very little spark. So Brian learned a lesson from the porcupine. He should upgrade his shelter, so he made a new one. In the middle of the night, Brian hears shoveling outside of his shelter. He's too exhausted to actually get up and go check on it, so he decides to go check on it in the morning. He then finds a tr trail of sand leading to a pile of sand next to the lake. He digs it up and finds a bunch of turtle eggs. He he eats a few and does not really like them, but he stores them in his shelter so he can have them for later. Read all that. Later on, a skunk comes in the shelter and sprays Ryan, and the skunk eats all the eggs. Ryan makes a spear and it comes up with strategies strategies to catch a fish. He in the book he, he says that he will never forget his first catch. He makes a bow and catches a bird, and he eat tears it. He tears the skin off, tears the feathers off, and he cooked it and eat it. Brian catches a Brian catches a moose spying him, and it, it rams him into a lake. And then whenever every time he moved, the moose would have a hair move up in his back, and it would keep on ramming him until he got to safety in his shelter. Tornado, tornado comes at night and destroys everything Brian has accomplished. But then after the tornado, Brian found a piece of an air of a plane on inside the lake. He went to discover it and then found a bag to help him to help up for his survival. Brian finds a transmitter in the life pack and puts up an antenna that is attached to the transmitter, but he doesn't know what it will do. Come Brian uh, spots a plane that comes to save him, and the plane driver that was there said that they had been looking for a couple weeks, but then they started, they stopped looking for Brian two months ago, and then that's when he came back home.